So now let's talk about tip number two, how to shoot a portrait like a magazine cover. You know, we've all seen the portraits from National Geographic, the old National Geographic magazines, of a dramatic portrait of, of someone from a completely different culture that you have no idea any of their background, but yet you still feel a connection with that person because of the way the photographer shot the portrait. That's the power of great portrait photography. And approaching your portrait photography like a National Geographic photographer takes some extra work and extra time and skill. But if you invest the effort, I think you'll find that you'll get much better um, portrait shots that really also bring that spirit of place back to your audience and really captures the essence of both the place and the people who live there. So let me give you an example from one of my favorite portrait shots. And this one's from the Philippines uh, taken a couple years ago. So if you're at all familiar with the Philippines, you'll know that cockfighting is a big deal there. You know, and however you feel about cockfighting, I'm not wild about it, but it's a big part of the culture. And pretty much every Sunday afternoon, you'll find a crowd of people, usually men, forming a circle with the chickens in the middle, you know, fighting to the death. But very often what I've found is it's much more interesting to watch the people rather than the chickens. So for example, this shot was taken on a small island in the central Philippines and it was a Sunday cockfight. It was pretty remote and I was the only sort of outsider there. And I could speak enough of, of the language so that I could ask questions and sort of blend in a little bit. So once the cockfight begins, everyone's focused on that. So for me as a photographer, this was such a great setting to capture a great portrait. So I started out, you know, doing a few shots sort of around the, the uh, periphery of the sort of the ring. And then I noticed this kid had climbed up, you know, he was too short to see beyond the first row because uh, it was mostly men up in the front and, you know, he was not that old. And, and, and so he was too short to see above their shoulders. So he actually climbed this coconut tree and, you know, he had this expression of just intense uh, concentration watching the uh, chickens fighting. And that expression was only there for a really brief second. And then I think he noticed that I was taking a photo and then he was sort of shy. And in that case, unfortunately, it kind of broke the uh, authenticity of the, of the expression. So luckily I, I got the shot um, when he was really concentrating right before he noticed me. And so that's sort of, sort of an example, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to find these real moments and capture them because, you know, people's expressions, you know, we as people looking at a portrait of someone else, you can really make a connection with that person uh, through a portrait, obviously much more than you would through a, you know, a landscape shot of a, of a bunch of trees or mountains or ocean. I think the biggest mistake that I often see with most portrait photography taken by friends and family is sort of the you know, awkward pose shot where they sort of sneak a shot off of someone in a market or something who's in a maybe brightly colored uh, local clothes or, or something just kind of, you know, where they're kind of you know, looking off uncomfortably, not a flattering portrait. There's no connection. That's the biggest problem with most portrait photography is there's no connection between the photographer and the subject, the person who's on film. And this might sound extremely obvious, but the easiest way to create the connection with the person is to actually interact with them. Go up and even if you can't speak their language, talk to them. You know, like if they're a shopkeeper, um, markets are, are great places to take great portraits because they're in a public setting. They're there for business. They are interacting with people regularly. You're probably not interrupting their daily life by talking to them if they're selling something. Try to make the connection with the person before you show them the camera. You know, spend a few minutes talking to them or, or take interest in their work, whether it's a handicraft or a painting or even their food if it's a restaurant. Take the time to make a connection with them and then, you know, sort of politely, you know, pull out the camera and, you know, again, even if you can't speak the language, you can just kind of, you know, point and do the sort of the universal, may I take a picture? Uh, symbol and very often they'll say yes and if they do uh, I can almost guarantee that the shot that you're going to get will be much much stronger because you've actually forged that personal connection with someone and as you're shooting be sure to focus on the eyes because really in any portrait the eyes are what make the connection you know subconsciously we as people your, your eye is drawn to the eye of the subject in the photo so be sure that you're using maybe the rule of thirds to frame your uh, subject's eyes so that it's more prominent within the frame and I think you'll find you'll get much stronger portraits that way.